The Chinese Lantern Festival is actually called Yuan Xiao Jie in Chinese, named after the glutinous rice balls enjoyed on this day. But it's the kaleidoscope of lanterns that have made a name for itself the world over. In ancient China, this was one of the few occasions where women were allowed to leave the house and take part in the spring festival festivity. So we sent our reporter Caroline Wu to one of the biggest and brightest lantern shows in town to revel in this ancient tradition. auspicious and joyful. The most popular tradition to celebrate the Lantern Festival is enjoying the sight of spectacular lanterns. Tonight, twinkling lights illuminated the capital. A big lantern fair is being held at Beijing Expo Park. This is one of the Chinese lantern shows you don't want to miss. Today I have two special guests with me to cherish the unique charm of the magical lanterns up close. Hello everyone, this is Andrea. I come from Romania. Really happy to be here today. Bonjour à tous, my name is Jacques Porte. I come from France. I just arrived two weeks ago in Beijing and I'm really excited to be here this evening. Welcome both of you. So now we're going to immerse ourselves in a sea of exquisite lanterns from Sichuan Zigong and embrace Chinese Year of the Rabbit. So shall we get it started? Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Yellow River Lantern Array. It looks like a maze and there are so many twists and turns. You gotta walk inside. It's going to make your whole year smooth and safe. I'm really happy we are going through the maze now. I was born in the year of the rabbit and in traditional Chinese culture, uh, this means that this year I need to be extra careful and I need extra luck. So hopefully this will give me the protection that I need. This is an intangible cultural heritage. It's a northern folk custom. And you know, I'm learning a lot this evening about Chinese culture, and I would like to know what is written on the red lantern. What you see in the lanterns is the Fu character, and usually Chinese fa families uh, hang these lanterns inside their homes during Chinese New Year, and it will give them protection and luck. This lantern looks like the shape of a palace lantern and you can see there are so many like traditional Chinese elements including the auspicious clouds, a square pavilion. In the past only people in the palace can get to use the palace lanterns. It's quite interesting to see the different flowers. They are traditional Chinese flowers and we can usually see them in ancient lanterns Indeed. as well. It's a peony. It represents wealth. I'm really curious to know about more uh, the, the type of uh, rabbit design. This is the year of the rabbit. You would see a lot of paper cutting rabbit. Provides the festive atmosphere. Considering the two dragons on the side, I bet it's something to do with fortune and good luck. First impression for me, the yellow color made me warm. So the dragon in the traditional Chinese culture is a symbol of fortune and power, nobility and success. It's also a symbol of the Chinese nation. We consider ourselves the descendants of the dragon. The Chinese dragons are very different from our Western dragons. They don't have wings, but they do fly. a giant cute rabbit that's called a cyber rabbit. This is, I have to say, one of my favorite lanterns here in this whole park. It's in a spacesuit and it creates a sense of technology and future. Yes, the spacesuit is definitely very cool. Mm -hmm. It gives this super cool vibe. Could you give me the meaning of the sign? A bunny is supposed to be gentle and kind and very soft, so it would be quite different from the year of the tiger. 
And really funny thing that I noticed, nice to meet you. There is a game of words around the character two that sounds like two in English. Uh, so the two in Chinese means rabbit. So it's quite funny. What you look at, this is a large lantern group. It's called Blessing Mother. Um, these are all carnations and it represents a good wish for mother or the motherland for its prosperity, for its strength. What is the, the meaning of carnation? The carnations are a flower that in Chinese culture uh, it's given to mothers to thank them for their support and hard work. In Europe, however, it's quite different. Right. In Italy, for example, they give the yellow flower, the mimosas. And what about France? Uh, in France, mainly rose for the mother. So many lanterns here with the same style lined up here under the theme of the 12 zodiac sign. It's a very traditional type of lantern. So that one's a tiger. Oh, a dragon over there. That's the flower fairy. Oh, uh, and that one is uh, apricot, and the one uh, before that is plum. Plum. Yes. How do you guys feel about the lantern show? I think it's really amazing. We got to explore uh, the lantern show with a modern and more ancient uh, cultural perspective. And I think we also got the uh, idea of something that is so simple, like lights and lanterns that can make something so beautiful. So it's really easy to understand why everyone loves the Lantern Festival. For me, it was a very impressive immersion in the Chinese culture today. And I will keep this colorful lantern always in my mind forever. To me, this is a truly magical experience. This is such a nighttime wonderland filled with a giant, colorful, and stunning lanterns. And we wish you Happy, happy Lantern, lantern Festival! Festival.